Introduction Hi friends, as we all know that there are so many microorganisms in our surroundings. They are classified into different groups. Some of them are useful for us and hence called as friends, while most of are harmful and hence called as foe or enemy. So in this module, we are going to learn more about friends and foe nature of these microorganisms. Objectives Friends, at the end of this module, you'll be able to define microorganism and its various groups. You will also be able to describe the friendly microorganisms and their uses in normal human life. Besides, you'll be able to describe harmful microorganisms and explain the methods of food preservation. In addition, you will also be able to describe the nitrogen fixation and the nitrogen cycle. Dear, don't eat this piece of fruit. Now it is contaminated and unhealthy for you. But why? Dear, because there are so many germs on the floor and they are so tiny that you cannot see them through naked eyes and they may harm you. What are these? These are called microorganisms. Friends, you'll be surprised to know that a microorganism can help us in making our food and the same can make us ill too. So, before getting more information about them in detail, let us first know about such microorganisms and their habitat. Microorganism or microbe is so small in size that we cannot see it with naked or unaided eyes. They are broadly classified into four major groups, bacteria, fungi, protozoa and algae. Viruses are also microscopic. Microorganisms can survive in different environmental conditions. Dear students, these microorganisms are broadly categorized into useful microorganisms and harmful microorganisms. Now we discuss the friendly activity of a microorganism in detail. One such friendly microorganism is yeast. Yeast is used in the baking industry and our homes for making breads, cakes and pastries etc. The bacterium lactobacillus is useful to make curd from milk. Microorganisms are also useful in commercial and medicinal field. For instance, yeast is used in the distillery industry for large-scale production of alcohol, beer and wine. Some other bacteria are helpful in production of antibiotics and vaccines. Vaccination is helpful in several diseases including cholera, tuberculosis, smallpox and hepatitis. Hey, now let me tell you what are other benefits provided by useful microorganisms. Some bacteria and blue-green algae increase the soil fertility by atmospheric nitrogen fixation process. Nitrogen fixation is the biological process in which atmospheric nitrogen is converted into ammonia. There are other friendly anaerobic bacteria that are used in the synthesis of biogas. Biogas is a mixture of methane, carbon dioxide, hydrogen and hydrogen sulfide. Get the right answer, click on true or false. After discussing about helpful and friendly microorganisms, let's learn about harmful microorganisms. We will start with microorganisms that cause diseases in humans and animals. The microorganisms that cause diseases are known as pathogens. We can classify diseases into two categories, non-communicable and non-infectious diseases and communicable 
or infectious diseases. Non-communicable diseases cannot be transferred from one person to another, while communicable diseases are transferred from infected person to a healthy person by means of air, water, food, etc. Common cold is a very common example of communicable disease. Friends, some insects and animals that are found in our surroundings act as carriers of pathogens. Housefly and mosquitoes are the common examples of such carriers. In cholera disease, housefly is the carrier of many pathogens. To prevent cholera, we should always keep food covered and avoid consuming the uncovered food items. In malaria disease, female Anopheles mosquito is the carrier of plasmodium parasites. We should use repellent creams, sprays and mosquito nets to prevent malaria. Here is a list describing various common human diseases caused by different pathogens. Now let's move on to our next topic that discusses about diseases in animals. Have you heard about any animal disease caused by pathogen? Anthrax and foot and mouth diseases are the common examples of animal diseases. Anthrax is a bacterial disease caused by Bacillus anthracis, while foot and mouth disease in cattle is caused by a virus. Hey, now let's know about diseases caused in plants. There are several microorganisms which cause disease in various plants. The table contains some widespread plant diseases and their causative pathogens. Drag and drop the correct option into its respective box. Friends, in summer season, if the food is lying in open for a longer duration, the food turns stale and finally poisonous substance. The cause of this is again the same, bacteria. There are some bacteria like Clostridium, Bacillus and Staphylococcus which cause the food poisoning. This food causes harm to us. We can preserve our food by some methods as listed below. We use pasteurization process to preserve the milk. To get the right answer, click on true or false. Summary Friends, let us summarize what we have learned in this module. Microorganism or microbe is an organism, living, which is so small in size that we cannot see with naked or unaided eyes, that is, they can be seen only through a microscope. Microorganisms are classified into four major groups, bacteria, fungi, protozoa and algae. Microorganisms can survive in different environmental conditions like water, soil, hot springs and mountains etc. Microorganisms are broadly categorized into two main categories useful and harmful microorganisms. Useful microorganisms are used in various purposes in our daily life and industries. Harmful microorganisms that cause diseases in humans, animals and plants are known as pathogens. Nitrogen fixation is the biological process in which atmospheric nitrogen is converted into ammonia found in the roots of leguminous plants.